Let's make a rattlesnake raft. Remember, in our story, we heard all about a rattlesnake, a diamond rattlesnake. Shake, shake, shake. I hear the rattle of a rattlesnake's tail. It looks like it was just resting in the shade of a rock. But now it is awake and warning me to leave it alone. I'm out of here. That was a part of the story that we heard about. Let's take a look at the photo of a snake before we go ahead and get started on our craft. Look at the snake's head. A rattlesnake's head is kind of in the shape of a triangle and it has a long curvy body. Its skin has lots of brown scales. And snakes can be all kinds of colors. They can be red, brown, green, yellow, all kinds of different colors. Take a look at his eyes. It has a diamond shape in the middle. And at the very end of his long body, that is the part that rattles or shakes and makes that loud rattling sound. Do snakes have any arms or legs? No, so they have to slither along the ground because they can't walk or crawl like other animals can. Remember, rattlesnakes live in the desert habitat. We also learned that some snakes live in the woodland habitat too, but they're different kinds of snakes. So let's go ahead and get started on our rattlesnake craft. Here's what you'll need today. You will need a paper plate. You'll also need some glue, some crayons, or if you have paint at home, you can use some paint, some scissors, and a small piece of red paper. So once you got everything you need, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is color or paint your entire plate brown. So if you have a brown crayon, you can color the entire plate brown. Or if you have brown paint, you're going to paint the entire plate brown. I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished. All right, here's what it looks like when it's finished being colored or painted. Now this next part is when you're going to need an adult's help. You can either have the adult draw a spiral around your plate, or you can have them cut it out for you. What you're going to do is start at the bottom, and this part is going to be the tail. We're going to go around and around to make the snake's body. So we're gonna swirl it around and around to make the snake's body. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, and I'll show you what that looks like when we're finished. All right. Now that you've cut out a big spiral along your paper plate, it's starting to look like a real rattlesnake. So this is the rattle tail, and this is the snake's head. So let's decorate it a little bit to help us know what part is the head and what part is the tail. If we look at the picture of a snake, their tail, their rattle tail, has a lot of bumps and ridges on it. So what we're going to do with a black or a dark brown is draw a lot of dots along the very tip of the tail to show that this is the part that rattles. So go ahead and decorate the bottom of your tail to look more like a rattle part of the rattlesnake's tail. All right, so his tail is nice and decorated. And then if we look at his eyes, they are a circle shape with a black diamond or rhombus shape in the middle. So then on his face, I'm gonna draw two circles and then a black diamond or oval shape right down the middle of his eyes. So that is where his face is. All right, he's looking more and more like a snake. Now we're gonna add his tongue by cutting it out. I'll show you what that looks like. His tongue is a red rectangle with two points at the end. Glue it to his mouth. And there we have it, a rattlesnake craft. I can't wait to see yours, and I'll see you next time.